I'm here with Dr. Michael Cable, Executive Director at the Berkeley Census and Actuator Center in California. Hi, Michael. Hi. What have you got to show us today from, from your exhibit? We have a lot of the new technologies that have come out of the Berkeley Sensors and Actuator Center research. Um, one of the things that our students are showing here today is we've got a uh, power generation system that go ahead and demonstrate it. You, yeah. you. If you press it, you know it can convert the mechanical energy into electricity. And that's that's just one of the many things that came out of the center. Yesterday we had a LiDAR demo here that uh, isn't here today, but it was very popular. It was um, a chip-based LiDAR system, which is very competitive with the big things you see on top of the Google cars running around the area. And the many things that we've got here are all parts of the are all results of the center research. Um, we have a model where basically industry members help support us in things that we're doing that are of commercial interest. So most of these are older projects that some of them are very innovative, but I don't... Can we grab this one? Yeah, yeah we can grab that yeah. one, that's fine. This is a rather relatively old pro uh, project, but it's one where one of our researchers was looking at neural interfaces, and it actually interfaced some of the... Uh, some of the microelectronic chips to a beetle and we're able to you know, manipulate some of the beetle's functions based on that. Um, it's a prototype for the types of things that could, that could potentially help people with neurological diseases or be used for neurological monitoring. It'd be awesome if you could remote control the beetle. Um, well, yes, although that starts to cross into scary science fiction. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, uh, that has been brought up. And aside from that, I think you know, most of these technologies are, you know, this is a wearable sensor that uh, has been integrated into a, uh, this has been integrated into like a headband or a wristband that can detect sweat. And you can measure, uh, you can measure different types of, uh, of the ions in your sweat to do health monitoring, particularly for athletic activities. And so all of these things, the common theme, and this is also, here's another one that might be of interest to you. This is a, this is a single chip moat. The goal here is a lot of the technologies for Internet of Things and you know, these uh, trillion sensor networks are focusing in on trying to do very small, very inexpensive chips that can be used for sensors in a big, wide network. But the problem you run into is these sensors ultimately have to have power, they have to talk to each other, and if you have to hang a dollar radio on it that needs a big battery, the model kind of breaks down. So this is a project to incorporate the sensor, the power source, the radio, and everything into a tiny chip. And as you can see, it's, it's, not, it's not very big. And uh, the group working on it thinks it's too big. They're shooting for one even smaller. But, uh, there's some fantastic, fantastic innovation there, Michael. So how is the ID Tech Show helping you to do business and how is it helping you to advance sensors? What ID Tech helps us with is we're an industry university collaborative research center. So we work in partnership with industrial members that join the center to collaborate with us and then we provide a mechanism, or they provide a mechanism for us to move the uh, research from the university out into commercial applications. ID Tech Expo is a nice showcase for us to meet potential new members, uh, show what we're doing, explain how we work, and then the ID Tech Expo uh, gives us the the contacts we need to make to recruit new members. And so the center maintains a nice, uh, nice member base. Uh, a lot of it's through the interactions we gain here. Fantastic, thanks for your time. All right, my pleasure. Nice meeting you.